Well, about uh, three years ago, a guy called Jamie Austin from Whitewater Action Medway organized a small-scale river cleanup on the Medway based around Yolding. So I got some useful leads from that. And then it was about three months of organization that it took. We had to contact the Environment Agency. We had to contact the local councils for disposal of the rubbish. Then I realized that if we're going to tackle a bigger stretch of the water, then we need more help from other canoe clubs. I think it's a question, as, as Shakespeare said, you know, some people have greatness thrust upon them. And I think on this occasion, I got my greatness thrust clearly on my plate by people, yes. So a little bit of a nudge from people behind saying it's about time we did this and who would be good at organizing it. And I felt a distinct boot in my back at that time and so I had to step forward to the plate and get on with it. It does take time. I must admit, I seriously underestimated just how much time it needed in order to contact everybody and to pass the message through to everybody. I think we need a bigger understanding of, from consumers of the whole life cycle of packaging. And that, if this could just change one or two people's mindset, one or two uh, leaders, politicians, I think this will get the message home. If we can keep the plastic collected in the rivers before it gets to the sea and the oceans, then you know we've got a chance. Once it gets out into the ocean, then I'm afraid we have very little chance of recovering it. Certainly we plan to do another one this year, maybe not quite on the same scale of the remote way, and I'd like to try to tackle the River Thames as well here. I have a feeling that that could bring the attention to the politicians, particularly if we start nosing around in the below the Houses of Parliament just outside their exclusion zone and make a big thing about it.